Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 20 maart 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Today's bulletin is in English. We will start today with the propagation bulletin of the RSGB and after that we have several news items. We do have Morse code today and an SSTV image in BW12. BW12. Welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News. Now the propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar and Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 18th of March. This week has seen continued geomagnetic storms thanks to a high solar wind stream flowing from a geo-effective coronal hole on the sun's surface. Now as we predicted last weekend was reasonably settled but then it all went pear-shaped. The K-Index hit 5 on Tuesday night and 5 again on Wednesday night, this time remaining at 5 for up to 9 hours. Now, high K-Indices are usually a sign of bad conditions, although there can be highlights. During the initial phase of a geomagnetic storm, you can often get enhanced conditions, but they tend not to last, and you can be left with noisy bands and fluttery or no HF signals, especially if they go near the poles. The noon critical frequency, as measured by the RAL Digisond on Tuesday, was 7.2 MHz, but just 5.4 MHz on Wednesday. Quite a few of the IBP beacons on the 14.100 MHz frequency could be heard on Tuesday, but by Thursday morning, they were all gone. None were audible. Next week, the solar flux index is predicted to be around 85 to 95 all week, and with no geo-effective coronal holes rotating into view on the sun's surface, the K-index is predicted to remain around 2. Now, this means we may have more settled HF conditions next week. We suggest you keep your fingers crossed. Good advice. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, last week's high pressure gave some modest tropo openings on the VHF bands, but as hinted in last week's bulletin, it was often handicapped by dry air at the surface below the inversion. This has the effect of lessening the quality of the ducts formed and makes any tropo weaker and a bit more marginal. It looks like a similar story throughout the coming week with occasional improved spells when the surface layer of air becomes more moist and you'll know this by the drizzle and the low misty cloud. Always check the bands though and look for areas of fog and misty low cloud on the satellite pictures to see which directions might produce the better quality lifts. Around the March equinox, it's fireball season. Now, a fireball is just an especially bright meteor, and they seem to appear in greater numbers than usual around this time. In fact, one was reported last week over the UK. Sadly, fireballs are no help to meteor scatter operators, as they are so few and are very short-lived. Conditions were perfect for the Dubus CWEME event last weekend with the moon at high declination and just beyond perigee. Next week, losses will increase to maximum as the moon reaches apogee on Friday and windows will shorten the declination going negative on Wednesday. And that's all the news from the propagation team this week. In the beginning, there was silence. Then came ham radio. And there came the great exchange of ideas that led to many new inventions like the cell phone and communications that leads to lifelong friendships from down the street to around the world with millions of other amateur radio operators. And today's ham radio is the best source of backup communications during disasters or emergencies. Ham radio is alive and well. Find out more and get in on all the action. The VK0 Echo Kilo team are almost at the end of their 10-day journey to Heard Island at the time of writing. The operators are currently active as Zulu Lima slash Zulu Sierra 9 Hotel India Maritime Mobile on board Braveheart. Activity has been mainly on CW on 30, 15 and 10 metres. You can check their website at VK0 Echo Kilo dot org for more information on their de-expedition. If you're looking for something to entertain the younger members of the family over the Easter break, take a look at activities available at Bletchley Park. 
Children will enjoy the nifty number trail and the code-breaking session available over the Easter long weekend. Go to the website at bletchleypark.org.uk for full details. Don't forget to visit the National Radio Centre as well while you're there and remember to take along a copy of your licence if you wish to operate the station GB3RS. From Australia, this is VK1WIA. For those of you interested in tuning in ordinary radio, or should I say DAB Plus radio, here's something new. LG has released the first smartphone with inbuilt DAB Plus radio receiver, this in France at the RDE 16. In what could prove to be a game changer for digital radio, LG Electronics has unveiled its new LG Starless DAB Plus device at Radio Days Europe 2016. Radioinfo.com.au says the phone, expected to be available here in Australia later this year, features the world's first built-in DAB Plus broadcast digital radio receiver. DAB Plus now covers 50 million people in 40 countries worldwide. Remember, DAB Plus broadcasts not only audio, but pictures and text on screen. Those with an interest in the sport of kings have been feasting on TAB tote screens showing on their DAB Plus devices since it started in Australia. Joan Warner, CEO of Commercial Radio Australia, has commented this is an exciting development for Australian consumers as listening and viewing entertainment, news, music and pictures broadcast via digital radio will use no data compared to music streaming services which can use more than 2 megabits of data per minute depending on the quality settings. There is still that argument in television and radio industries as to whether streaming of programs over the internet is broadcasting. You can see this technology can do away with the time-honoured broadcast licence service areas. VK3PC Jim Linton says, Put plainly, a television station can have viewers anywhere, including inside a licensed broadcast area of another telecaster by the use of streaming. We'll let that technological argument play out in the legal system. In Australia, DAB Plus currently is only mainland capitals and Darwin and Canberra. If you live outside those areas, with emerging technology, programs are likely to be heard free anywhere. Remember, however, this phone with DAB Plus is an RF receiver, not a streaming device. Exciting times. First we had mobile phones, then texting, then camera models, internet access, social media, games, FM radio chips, and now a free DAB Plus radio receiver chip. An antenna that may be printed. Researchers have come up with an antenna that is printed using ink infused with graphene flakes used in pencil leads and a roller squashing technique to increase its conductivity. Just one atom thick, it could enhance radio communications and has mobile applications. Among other potential uses are in clothing, thermometers and advertising displays. The once famed kit building company Heathkit has a receiver. But before jumping for joy, let us look at some history, then detail what is on offer. After World War II, the brand name got many into electronics and amateur radio, but closed in 1992, reflecting a dramatic decline in the popularity of its kits. In August 2011, it re-emerged, set to make new kits for hams. It now has the Heathkit Explorer Junior GR-150 TRF AM radio receiver, a tuned radio frequency receiver, or TRF, that had been popular in the 1920s, but by the mid-1930s, replaced by the superheterodyne receiver. It's a single-stage receiver without an audio amplifier or calibrated frequency dial. Heathkit has produced a quality kit, albeit with some expected headaches for builders and captured TRF-era nostalgia. The devotees support the Heathkit rise from the ashes, while others question the new product. The argument continues with pricing and the choice of first kit being a negative, while many loyal to the old kits are glad that Heathkit continues with a glimmer of hope for the future.
Heb jij nog wat gekocht op de Radio Vlooienmarkt? Nee. Was er niet veel aan? Het was vooral druk. Maar waarom heb je niks gekocht dan? Nou, ik heb bijna de hele middag naar P A 0 E D E lopen zoeken. Nou hoor ik achteraf dat hij er niet was. Weet je wie er ook niet was? Nou? PD 0 AC. Die van de website van de Chinese bakkies. Lekker belangrijk. Willem Alexander en Marco Borsato die waren er ook niet. Ja, maar DJ Sven wel. En die had ook wel wat gekocht. Een porto voor die star. Nadat het voorgaande spotje al klaar was, kwam ik erachter dat Sven helemaal niet in Rosmalen geweest was. Hij heeft gisteren wel een porto gekocht. Bye.